بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید عاکف شاہ لیکچرر فائنینس ایٹ انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بزنس اسٹڈیز گوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دا ٹائٹل آف دس کورس از بزنس فائنینس اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ فار دس سبجیکٹ از بی ایس 151 دس از لیکچر نمبر 30th اینڈ دا ٹاپک فار ٹوڈیز ڈسکشن از کلاسیفیکیشن آف ورکنگ کیپیٹل The outline of this lecture comprises of the discussion of classification of working capital on the basis of permanent and temporary nature of working capital. Then we will discuss the spontaneous financing and hedging and maturity approach. Hedging are maturity matching approach for financing. The classification of working capital consists of with respect to components. By components, we can divide or classify working capital on the basis of cash, marketable securities, receivables and the inventory. If you notice, these four different titles belong to the balance sheet of the company. and specifically if we write them in order of liquidity then cash needs to be written first then the marketable security which is also a current asset when a company invest its idle funds into the securities or shares of another company that investment is known as marketable securities investment as we know that the holder of marketable security can sell out its share any time without getting delay so therefore this asset can be transformed or transfer into cash at the market price and very fastly as well receivables are the company's account receivable current asset and similarly the inventory could be in raw form and as well as in the form of finished goods so we can say that in principle these four titles belong to the current assets of the company and we can infer that these four accounts or current assets management is known as working capital management now let's discuss with respect to time how can we classify working capital are different titles of accounts which consist of working capital so we can divide or classify on the basis of time as well and by time we mean either the current assets may be permanent in nature or they could be temporary in nature by permanent we mean that certain kinds of or certain level of the current assets which is which are cash marketable securities receivable and inventory will be available in the balance sheet all the time during a during an accounting period or a specific time period so normally company has certain level of cash all the time available in its treasury or in the bank account similarly the company might have certain investment in marketable securities and definitely for sure there are credit sales so the receivables are present all the time on the balance sheet and similarly there could be certain level of inventory which must be present all the time in the company so when certain level of these assets are available in the company's balance sheet that portion of current asset is known as permanent current asset we have a temporary level of current assets let's suppose if a business is involved in a seasonal kind of business operations then in the summer it will require an extra amount of inventory like for example the business nature is to manufacture ice cream then the ice cream and cold drinks demand will increase in the summer season which requires the company to increase 
increase its inventory level in those peak days with seasonal financing and when the season over the level of that current assets in the inventory needs to be reduced so that there must be no extra charges or costs to be to be borne by the company so here is the two methods of classification of working capital with respect to the components comprising of different current assets and the time factor which could be permanent current asset and the temporary current assets these will further be elaborated in graphs and graphical methods in the next slide so we have first of all the permanent working capital let's take uh, the amount of current assets required to meet a firm's long term minimum needs is known as permanent working capital or permanent current assets here is a diagram representing the dollar amount of the current assets and on the horizontal axis there is a time limit when the current assets are required for a longer period of time in that case the current assets become permanent in nature and here is an example that let's suppose there could be a uh, higher level of current assets required in at, at any specific period of time however out of that current assets let me select the pen like for example this is the level of current assets required at the moment at time t1 so out of this total level of current assets this portion where there is an intersection so up to there we are in need of permanent current assets and above that there could be a season for that specific current assets which will drop down later on when the season will get over similarly we have a temporary working capital nature that is the amount of current asset that varies with the seasonal requirements like this red line shows the permanent level of current asset required all the time to be available in the company however the seasonal demand let's suppose the summer has been started and there was an increase in the demand of soft drinks or ice cream so the company will require to increase its current level of assets from its fixed portion or permanent portion of current assets to meet the seasonal demand of the product so when there is an increase in the temporary current assets such kind of assets are known as seasonal assets requirement or seasonal inventory and with the passage of time when the season will get over the demand for excess inventory will get reduced and now the another season maybe the winter is getting started so if the business nature is of april or clothes then in winter sweater jackets demand has been increased so in order to meet that seasonal requirement in the inventory to increase the number of sweaters and jackets to be available in the departmental store the inventory level needs to be increased with temporary current assets and similarly the season will get off and that the requirement for increase in the inventory will reduce and then the next season may start so similarly to and fro this seasonal demand of current assets may be increasing and decreasing depending upon the level of demands in the market according to the season let's discuss the financing current asset we can finance our current assets which are uh, cash account receivable and inventory in particular we have two option either to go for short term financing or to go with long term financing or the third choice is to have a mix of short term and long term financing in order to to uh, to have the working capital management in the organization let's discuss a, a very important concept over here which is spontaneous financing it really helps to do the working capital management in the company by spontaneous financing we mean all those financing 
are methods of generating funds which automatically arises in the normal course of operation of the business. For example, we have trade credits. By trade credits, we mean accounts payable when a company purchases its raw material from the supplier, then automatically it requires or the supplier requires the company to pay out their obligation within 30 days, 60 days or whatever the deal is between the supplier and the company. So such kind of time period available to, be, to pay the uh, inventory cost is known as trade credit or, an, or a spontaneous financing. And other payable and accruals may also be included like let's suppose the company has deferred its tax payment for the next month or for the next two three months and similarly accruals any kind of expense that has been incurred but not yet paid by the company like utility bills are due but we got certain number of days to be to pay out those uh, expenses like utility expenses so the number of time days or time period the company is allowed to pay out its obligation is known as uh, uh, the lead time period and the, in this time period company can utilize its cash for any other purposes so such kind of financing or fund fundraising or fund generation which automatically occurs in the organization is known as spontaneous financing and these occur in the firm's day-to-day -day operation however our emphasis is on the discussion related with managing the non-spontaneous financing of assets because the spontaneous financing cannot cover up the demands and requirements of the business so therefore non-spontaneous financing mechanism is required which is short-term financing and long-term financing to have our working capital managed here come the uh, first technique to manage the working capital for the organization or the company which is known as the hedging method by hedging we mean the second name for hedging approach for working capital management is known as maturity matching as the name explains we have to match up the maturity of the asset with the financing technique like let's suppose we are going to finance the fixed asset which will last for number of years in the company so we have to finance it with long-term financing technique rather than to be financed with short-term financing when we are talking about short-term and long-term financing we mean that the short-term financing mean any amount borrowed from bank and any other deposit institution shall be returned back within one year of time period and when the loan amount borrowed from any deposit institution or any depository uh, banking organization which requires the body or company to pay out its principal along with the interest beyond the one year of time period like for two years three years or five years of loan is considered as long-term financing so the hedging or maturity principle requires the company to finance the fixed asset fixed assets are those assets which lost for more than one year of time period in the company and they are usually used for revenue generate generation in the company so such kind of asset must be financed with long-term financing or five years six years or whatever the time period it is but it must be for greater than one year so the hedging or maturity approach tells us a method of financing where each asset would be offset with the financing instrument of same approximate maturity so we know that the current assets are normally converted into cash within one year of time period so therefore we will go for short term financing in the current in order to purchase the current assets 
and for the purchasing or buying or managing the fixed asset we have to go with the long-term financing let's discuss the graph in detail here is the total amount of assets and the time period required we can see that the blue line is depicting the number of fixed assets over the period of time and we have seen that the fixed asset of the companies are financed by the long term financing techniques which is uh, a loan which maturity is more than for one year of time period and we have seen there are current assets need and this red line shows the permanent nature of current asset although this level belongs to the current asset but this straight line shows the permanent nature of current asset which will last or uh, in the uh, in the company over the period of time so in order to have the hedging or maturity principle one should or uh, the company should finance its not only fixed asset but as well as the fixed nature of current asset with long term financing because the maturity of these current asset is similar to those of fixed asset and this this permanent nature of current asset lost or remains in the company for a longer period of time however we can see that this green diagram or green graph is showing the jumps and drops over the period of time and these are depicting the seasonal demand of current assets of the company so when the season will start and it's on peak we can borrow a short term loan from a banking organization for 6 month and when the season over this inventory will be sold out so that we will be able at this time period time period 2 to pay out our debt obligation since we have borrowed the money on time period 1 and paid out our this seasonal short term financing at time 2 after 6 months so such kind of financing is known as short term financing to meet our seasonal requirement and when the company approach is to meet out each asset with the same approximate maturity of that asset that approach is known as hedging or maturity matching approach of financing the working capital we can see this first point that the less amount financed spontaneously by payable and accrual because this has been financed with the help of long term financing and in addition to those spontaneous financing of payable and accruals we have to contact with the depository institution for short term financing as well to meet our seasonal requirements so financing needs and the hedging approach let's conclude our discussion on the basis of graph that fixed assets of the company and as well as non seasonal portion of current assets what was available are highlighted in with the help of red line of the current assets are financed with the long term debt requirement or with the help of equity because the long term profitability of assets to cover the long term financing cost of the firm so this is the way our principle of hedging approach or the maturity matching approach secondly we have also seen that seasonal needs here are the seasonal needs of these jumps when we are seeing increase in the level of current asset this is known as the seasonal requirement so the seasonal needs are financed with short term loans because the season will get over in over the period of 3 months or 6 months and then we will not be in need of that financing or loan so the company will decide to return the principal along with its interest payment to the depository institution from where they have taken that loan amount so under the normal operation sufficient cash flow is expected to cover the short term financing cost and therefore the seasonal needs are financed with the help of short term financing let's discuss the self liquidating nature of short term loans because we are dealing 
those uh, taking those loans for our seasonal requirement therefore the seasonal orders require the purchase of inventory like in summer if the business is a kind of soft drink and ice cream manufacturing then it will require to increase its inventory in summer and similarly if the business nature is of clothes or apparel so it will require the inventory increase in summer according to the summer collection and similarly it will require to increase the winter collection if the winter season starts so we need short term loans in order to meet the seasonal orders of the customers secondly we have increased the inventory is used to meet the increased demand of the final product in that particular season third sales become receivable when we sell out those inventory or finished product it becomes our account receivable from those customers because usually in the business 90% sales and purchases are done on credit basis so when the company sell out that inventory it will further allow the purchaser or consumer to pay out its obligation within 30 days or 15 days of time period so for that specific time period our sale become an account receivable and we have not collected cash yet and the fourth step in seasonal business or seasonal requirement our receivable due from clients or customers are collected and transformed into the cash or depository or treasury of the company now it's time to return the loan the resulting cash funds which have been collected from our sales can be used to pay off the seasonal short term loan as we have borrowed our money at the very start to cover up the seasonal requirement so therefore this seasonal requirement has been met and we have taken a self liquidating short term loan which itself has been liquidated within 3 or 6 months of time period so after collecting that cash funds we can use that funds to return the seasonal short term loan along with covering the associated long term financing cost or short term interest rate as well so this is the way how the current assets are managed in the company by taking the seasonal short term loans however if the nature of current asset is of permanent in the company then that kind of current assets are still financed with the help of long term financing in order to meet the hedging or maturity matching principle so this was all about discussion related with working capital management and how to finance the short term and long term uh, how to use the short term and long term financing to cover up our fixed and current assets along with the temporary and permanent nature of current asset to be addressed in the maturity matching principle i hope you understand the concept in detail thank you very much for listening to this this lecture if you have any question feel free to post them on kcms or another way around you can also email me your confusion over official email address as mentioned in the footer of this lecture good luck for the day allah hafiz